Hello, my name is Sean McLaughlin with AudioBiz, and I'm here today to introduce you guys to the Allen & Heath DLive C-Class series. The C-Class is a newer compact series of the DLive series of mixers from Allen & Heath. The C-Class series offers three different sizes of surfaces. The C3500 is the largest in the series. There's a C2500, which is in the middle, and then we have the smallest surface, the C1500. The C3500 offers two touchscreens and two fader banks of 12 faders. The C2500 has a single touchscreen and a bank of 12 faders and a bank of eight faders. The C1500 has a single touchscreen and one bank of 12 faders. All of the C-Class surfaces have the same I.O. on the back of the unit. There's six analog inputs six analog outputs, as well as two channels of AES audio in and out. There's also one option card slot for some of our option cards, like our Giga Ace card, Waves 3 card, Dante, and others. There's also a BNC word clock input for clocking to an external source, as well as an expansion out port for our DX series of I.O. expanders. The C-Class surfaces also have an internal power supply. All of the C-Class surfaces have a 12-inch capacitive touch touchscreen that is also daylight viewable. The C3500 has two touch screens. This one deals with all of your processing. This screen is a multifunction screen and the functions are based on what is selected with the soft key to the right of the screen. The C1500 and 2500 have a single touch screen. It has the same functionality as the C3500 with an extra button that allows you to switch between your processing screens as well as your multifunction screens. The C-Class series of surfaces are great for house of worship installs, theaters, anywhere where you need a small footprint mixer, but with very powerful capabilities. What we have here are the brains for the C-Class mixers, the CDM units. They're offered in three different sizes. The CDM32, which is a 32 input by 16 output. The CDM48, which is a 48 input by 24 outputs. And then there is also a CDM64, which is 64 inputs by 32 outputs. All of the CDM units have a similar layout. On the left-hand side, you have your input sockets. You'll notice there is an LED for phantom power if it's enabled on that channel. You've got your output section over here, a PFL monitor headphone jack uh, on the unit. Down below, you've got an option card slot for any of our different option cards. Currently installed in this unit is our Giga Ace option card for doing digital splits between multiple consoles. Next to that, you have a network jack to allow you to hook this up to a network to be able to control the CDM units with any of our network platforms. We've got our Giga Ace connection here, which is our connection between our DM unit and our Surface. We have two DX expansion ports, which allow you to hook up any of our DX expansion series modules. Over here, we have our ME port. This will allow you to hook up to our ME1 personal mixing system. External word clock, as well as the internal power supply. Rack rails are reversible if this is an installation where you don't want people to touch the connectors. Being that the C-Class series of the D-Live mixers are modular, this allows you to mix and match any of the surfaces with any of the DM modules that you would like. You can also mix and match with any of the S-Class series modules or surfaces also. Now we'll go through the layout of the mixer. Over on your processing screen, you've got a home button, which will take you back to your home screen. An insert button, which will allow you to insert a signal from a digital source or an analog source at two different points in the signal chain. Here's a library button, which will allow you to store and pull up presets of different parameters for compressor settings, EQ settings, etc. We have a setup button here, which will allow you to customize any of the option screens. And here we have a listen button. When I hold down the listen button, this will allow me to pick and choose at any point in the signal chain of where I would like to PFL a bus. 
Below the screen, we have our buttons for allowing us to adjust our parametric EQ. Over here, we have multifunction pots that are associated with the widget you have chosen on the screen here. You'll notice as I change the widgets, my LEDs will change to the corresponding color on the touch screen. Down here, we have a large multifunction knob which will allow you to do a touch and turn style of control. I'm able to select a parameter on the screen and use the large button to be able to change that parameter setting. We also have a view knob down here that will allow you to switch through the different options you have set up in your Harmony UI screen. There's also a help button on here which will pull up helpful information on the screens that you are looking at. Over here we have four display function parameters which will change what you are viewing on your scribble strips. You've got the name button which will allow you to view what you have named your individual channel, the DB level that your fader is at, the IO patch showing which socket it is coming from, as well as the channel number. Above the scribble strips here, we have an LED signal meter, a gate indicator if it's open or closed, as well as a compressor level meter. Over here we have the buttons that are going to control our multifunction potentiometers above each channel. You've got an option for controlling the gain, the pan, as well as four options that are customizable. They can be different settings like send levels, compressor levels, and multiple different options. You also have a button which will allow you to turn these into a sends on rotary versus a sends on fader. Down here we have a mute button for your channel a select button for the channel, as well as a mix button. You also do have a PFL, which will solo that channel in your headphone outputs and your faders. These are motorized faders and are fully recallable in any of your scenes. What is displayed on this screen is dependent on what you have selected on this group of buttons over here. We have a meters button, which will show you metering options for your control surface. An effects button which will allow you to get in and adjust the parameters of any of your effects you have patched into the unit. Your I.O. screen where you'll adjust any of your patching of the console. A scene selection button which will allow you to adjust the parameters of any of the scenes you have saved in the unit. A ganging option which will allow you to gang different parameters of channels together. You've got a mix rack button here, which will allow you to get into any of the setup functions of your DM module. Your surface option button will allow you to get into any of the surface parameters, as well as a utility and show button, which will allow you to save and copy scenes and show files on the unit. Last, we have a routing button, which deals with any of the routing of the channel that you have selected. We also have a large touch and turn knob on this screen, which will allow you to make adjustments to anything selected on this screen, as well as a help button for this side of the mixer. Down here, we have some scene management buttons, a previous and next button, as well as a go button to select and go for your next scene. We have a main metering section for your left, right, and mono outputs, as well as a PFL clear if you have something selected on the PFL bus. A talkback button which can be assigned to be latching or momentary as well as an assignment button for where you would like that talkback to go to. We also have two USB sockets up here, one for saving your data and scenes to a USB stick as well as one for recording and playback of audio through the desk. We also have 19 multifunction soft key buttons on the right hand side of the mixer, which can be programmed to do different functions such as select, mute, tap tempo, and other different functions within the mixer. We also have a VGA output for use of an external screen. You've got several different options of mirroring one of your screens or choosing a custom screen to view on that external monitor. For more information on the C-Class series of DLive mixers from Allen & Heath, visit us on the web at fullcompass.com or reach out to your Full Compass sales pro.